You know how I know you're gay? You don't, because I'm not. When it was time to pick a movie, you chose a romantic comedy. Romantic comedies are very big in the hood, Jake. Thank you very much. <laughs> romantic <laughs> movies in general. You want to know what? Is that what's hood now? Yes. Is that that's yes, what's hood? Yes, that's what's hood. You, you want to know what? <laughs> and so, yes, romantic movies such as The Notebook, romantic comedies such as Fever Pitch with Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. These are great movies, and the OGest of OGs and the hardest of the hard love these movies. Thank you. You know how I know you're gay? You're the hardest of the hard. You know what? You know how I know you're gay, Jake? How? I don't, but you're white and y'all do a lot of gay shit. Teabagging, Jake? You look at me like I invented Black. the shit. Um, you want to do an intro? Do an intro, man. Introduce the, the show. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Watch This Shit. I am OG Andrew Brown. I am Jacob Bokey. And today we are reviewing The 40-Year-Old Virgin. It is actually my favorite comedy movie. Oh, wow. I don't care for comedies. Really? I mean, I like them well enough. I'm never, but like, I'm not gonna, usually I won't go out of my way to watch a comedy. And then like, when I do comedy, I like dry comedy. So my metric for a comedy, is it good? is did it make me laugh more than five times? Because really, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be the prettiest movie, it doesn't have to be the best acted movie, it does, if it made me laugh more than five times, then that was probably a pretty successful comedy. I, I look at things more for the replay value. 40 Year Old Virgin, I no longer have, like I had to search the internet to find it for free because I scratched mine from watching it so many times. Uh. I, I loved it when I saw it. I watched the extended cut um, this time when I, when I watched it for the, the show. And there's a lot of stuff at the beginning of the movie which is just shock humor. You know, people swearing at each other and saying, fuck you, cocksucker, you are the one who is the bitch. Once they get into the character development humor, once they get into Paul Rudd's depression and stalking the, the ex-girlfriend, and once they get in to, um, oh, Romney Malco. Yeah, Romney? Right. That's his first name? Yes. That's a great fucking first name. But uh, Romney's problems with uh, his girl. Right. And uh, <laughs> Seth Rogen's whole thing about being a novelist or whatever. And Tom was like, fuck you, dad. And he his dad was like, me how to fuck love. you, Tom. Yeah, it's right. like, is the most hilarious, generic, lame thing <laughs> that a, a, a self proclaimed novelist could right. be sitting at home. Like, just that character development humor is what really kills me and like makes me still love it all these years later. Right. Like, because it isn't just about the rusty trombone and the <laughs> Cincinnati bow tie. There's real heart right. in this movie, like, and, and a lot of it. This is like the flashpoint for comedy for the next 10 years. Yeah. Fucking uh, Carell, this is his breakout from The Daily Show. Seth right? Rogen. Seth Rogen, technically, I, I doubt they were actually there physically together, but um, uh, he has a sex scene with Elizabeth Banks, who right. they, they go on to become Zack and Miri. Right, right. Um, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill, Mindy Cowling, right. first appearance. Paul Rudd, speaking of uh, Catherine Keener. Catherine, I just, Catherine. You know who I think turns in probably the best performance, though, in the entire movie? Who's that? Is the, uh, the director's wife. I can't think of her name. She's yes. the, the drunk girl in the car. Let's get some French toast. <laughs> <laughs> After they had the spin out and she threw up in his face and tasted the shellfish, quite honestly, only a virgin would not have had sex with her at that point. Because someone who's oh, had sex yeah. would say, yeah, you know what? You owe me one. It seems like Apatow moves away from directing mm -hmm. after this, and, and it's too bad, because he's really fucking good at it. Um, improv, 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 improv. Um, this, and it, this would never happen now. They would shoot in HD, and it would be an issue of hard drive space. But for this movie, um, over one million feet of film were, was shot. They broke it down, and at 90, foot, 90 feet per second, there was a 96 to 1 shot to use ratio. 
But you have a lot of comedians, mm -hmm. and that's bound to happen. There's a lot of improv, but th this was clearly a written scene. I think the best written scene in the movie is when he hits on Elizabeth Banks at the bookstore. Yeah. And he only asks questions. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think David Caruso in Jade. Picks of beautiful post-op trainees. Uh, let's rewind. I don't have a lot of other great notes, but... So in researching this movie, I, I went to IMDb and I look at, you know, the trivia and I look at the sales numbers and all that kind of stuff. And I also scroll down and look at the message boards. And these message boards, so I'm gonna hit you with some of these questions. I want answers. All right, you ready? Shoot. Okay, um, this is not a question, but one post was, uh, involuntary celibacy no longer recognized. What the fuck does that even mean, dude? <laughs> Would you have sex with a post-op male to female transsexual? B -b -b -bomb. If you had to choose between staying a virgin or going to Mars, this is a question that human beings actually asked and answered on a message board. Which would you choose? Stay a if you If you had to choose <laughs> nah, between bet, staying yeah. a virgin or going to Mars, which implies that there would be pussy on Mars, which is awesome. I wanted to go to Mars anyway, well, but now no, that I know there's pussy on Mars. You, you go to Mars, and then when you get back, you're definitely getting pussy. Damon. Are you a virgin who wants to get laid? Which obviously we're not, so we'll, we'll substitute that question with, if you were, would you tell that to people on a message board on IMDb? Um, anyone want to start a cover band for Iron Maiden? You in? You in? You in? You in? You in? <laughs> Should a 40-year-old virgin tell his girlfriend he's a virgin, what is he doing with a girlfriend? Why did he have so much chest hair? I'll field this one, Andrew. Um, those of us whose ancestors were from colder climates uh, are basically hairy like Wookiees. I am, I am Chewbacca under this outfit that you're seeing here. Dude, you have knee hair coming out of your I jeans. I do. <laughs> tons, tons. It's worse than this. The whole rest of it. It's like I'm wearing a, a brown sweater vest pants combo. It's It's... It's obscene. Ever thought of using love dolls? If you were a 40-year-old virgin, would you fuck a doll? If you're a 40-year-old virgin, you will fuck anything. I think I might have IBS. <laughs> that's, that's a post on the message board. <laughs> well, we just have to. I don't know, it's so good though. Oh, this one is specifically for you, Andrew. I feel like they wrote it just for you. Is this a ripoff of Hitch? No. How about trying Jehovah's Witnesses women or Mormon women? Trying them as far as... Well, I, I guess trying to get them to give up the nappy dugout. That, that's no issue. Well, I meant for a 40... I think they mean for a 40-year-old oh, virgin. Oh, for a 40... Okay, yeah. well, I... I why, why aren't you hitting on religious women is what they're saying. And I guess maybe... The joke there is either that why don't you hit on stupid people? Because <laughs> you would have to be stupid to be a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon. Except for the end, I don't have anything else to talk about, which I love, 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 love the end of this movie. Yes, yes, let the sun shine in. The sun shine in. I would definitely have to say as a fan of comedy, uh, as a fan of good writing, as a fan of good improv, uh, all across the board, I give this a watch this shit. I'm gonna go a step further and be like, you haven't watched this shit? You wouldn't. You haven't watched this shit? Really, have you not watched this shit? Because you gotta watch this shit, man. Dude, it's, it's required, it's base, it's yes. elementary. Yes. yes, So please, watch this shit. I can go back to my life in Squaresville any time, baby. I'm, I'm certain nobody in the fucking world would notice this but I was reading about it and I found out that animals were harmed in the making of this movie. It does not have the, uh, the animal wildlife whatever association seal of approval at the end of it where it says no animals were, har animals were harmed in the making of this movie, which affected their, their uh, sales zero. <laughs> right. No one gives a shit. Fucking, I watched Patton for the first time like three or four years ago, like I'd never seen Patton. And there's a scene where they, like, well, they walk up to a vulture and they shoot it in the fucking head. And that wasn't a Muppet. 
They walked up to an animal and they shot it with a gun. <laughs> and, and, 